This feels like complete deja vu. The whole look from yesterday, we've got it today. I'm gonna show you how to get this full look right now. Keep watching. Ooh, girl, okay. Look, we not gonna do too much talking. Let's just get right into the video. I don't need to explain what's happening here because we about to change it. So, you know what I'm saying? Stay in your lane. You see the title? You know what time it is. We about to turn this little doll baby into a glowing baby, honey. One that peeks out into the sun. Hey, hi. Uh-uh, I'm shining way too much to hear you, girl. My eyes are closed. I don't even see you, girl. It's bright around here. <laughs> Let me get my tools so I can make sure I'm not looking crazy throughout. Yeah, like I could have flossed a little bit. Mm -mm. I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to make a video showing you guys this look. A natural glow girl. Something some of you girls know nothing about because you don't, you know, understand what it's like to get things right in the inner, you know, oil up in here, in this space. You know what I mean? Get this together and then you're gonna shine with or without this little tutorial, okay? But if you're here and you're watching, let me just go ahead and walk you through step by step what I did to achieve that look. And we're talking about hair and makeup, okay? Because I got a couple questions about the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so then it can just be sitting like that while we're doing the makeup. So I have a scarf handy. This makeup look is super, super easy. Like it's so easy that I want you to do it while I'm doing it. So go ahead and get your makeup set together and um, come back and see me. I'm gonna wait for you. <laughs> he said, what? No, honey. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're back. Hi. So I have my scarf here, I have my brush, and I have the product I'll be using to slick everything back. Now, I am not a major gel girl. I have talked about this multiple times. I don't like the way gel feels in my hair. I don't like how hard it makes my hair feel. I feel like it pulls out my edges sometimes. Like, I'm just not a fan of that feeling. However, I love the look. So, my way of getting that is using this Curly Magic Curl Stimulator from Uncle Funky's Daughter. It's for kinky, curly, and wavy textures, okay? Basically, it's for everybody. It comes out very thick like this. Reminds me of aloe vera gel, and it actually has aloe vera in it. You know, if you're not a gel person, this might be something you wanna try. I'm just gonna put this all on the edges. This really helps get my hair slicked down, and when I put on a scarf, it stays down. And I really only need one pump. I cannot see. I cannot. I cannot. And then this is my go-to style when my hair needs to be washed or done. I just don't feel like doing too much to it and want it to still be able to breathe. This is the look that I do right here. Some fluffing. Get these edges together. Good enough for me. Wait, is it? Is it? I don't know, girl. I'm gonna keep it like this, okay? When you just naturally find, like, the little stuff don't matter. There's no such thing as too much makeup. So, you know, yes, this video is catering to those who prefer a simpler look. However, if you want to take it up a notch and add some additionals i really suggest that you do if that's what you're into because like this is about you boo bam all throughout this video i'm gonna be using my mac prep and pine uh, pep and pine <laughs> all throughout this video i'm gonna be using the mac prep and pine uh, 
So all throughout this video, I'm gonna be using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This is great for dewy looking skin. If your face by the end of your makeup is looking super matte because you're using matte foundations or powders, a fix spray is going to liven it all the way up and bring it back to a dewy finish. So I'm gonna spray this before I put on my makeup. Get it all. Put your foundation on like this and don't circle it around. Don't move it around. Just press it in and make sure it gets everywhere. Cause y'all saw my scars. Y'all saw the unevenness in my skin. And now look at it. Okay, I ain't got it up here yet. Look down here, down here only, all right? Quick little brush out, so they're not as intense. Anyway, to highlight right up under my eyes, I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauty's Matchstick in the color Caramel. I love this for my under eye because it's not too far from like my natural color. And over the stash. It gets a little dark around there sometimes. Good enough. I'm gonna put it in my temple area. I'm just gonna give myself a little nose contour just for the f of it. Now that the entire face is finished, like this is the face, girl, like we're done. I know that was fast. Now I'm gonna use the Fix Plus spray all over. Ew, I just realized I did this whole video without earrings. <sighs> Let me tell you something, okay? It's been passed down from generation to generation. If you wanna be somebody, if you wanna go somewhere, you better wake up with your earrings. If you wanna be somebody. <laughs> ugly, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. Let's get this lipstick. How's my, oh my God, my camera's about to die. I have to hurry up. <laughs> Everything's in the description box below. Okay, girl, if I forgot to say anything, but this lipstick is from ColourPop. It's in the color Capiche. It's the perfect natural, oh, it's the perfect natural looking nudie blushy color. Okay. Now that's that by itself, right? Like, hey, how you doing? What'd you say? No, honey. Now I'm gonna turn it up a notch and I'm gonna add this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London. Right here in the center. And here at the top. Uh -huh. Take this scarf off, girl. Let them know where you're from. Hi, you said what? No, honey, not there. 